What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian, this is PND, and today we're gonna be talking about Raid Shadow Legends, but I know in the past I had a video and I wasn't really happy with the game, I still have some issues, but let's talk about that now, because right now is the last day where you can get an S tier champion for free, Artac, Artac Chase, until the 24th, what is today, if you actually create an account, you have the chance to actually get that champion completely for free. Now, before everything, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, thank you very much. I know I have not uploaded videos for a while, like pretty much like a year or more, uh, besides some shorts, just to kind of let you guys know what's going on in my life. Basically, I'm in film school for a while. Uh, it's been really busy for me, and that's why I have not been able to create much content, but I'm scheduling myself better, so I am back now into YouTube. And now, just to let you guys know, uh, this video is basically for free-to-play accounts, all right? So you guys are gonna have a chance to start completely new and not make the same mistakes I made in the past, okay? Also, if you guys follow the link below, uh, you're gonna help me out and you're also gonna have some freebies from the game for joining my link. Now, one of the things, just so you guys see, I'm already level 3, and the reason for that is I really don't feel I need to spend your time trying to, you know, show you the guided part of the game. So, pretty much, like, the game can direct you what to do until about level 3, level 2, and then you should be fine and pick up from here. Now, when you choose your champion, as an advice, you should get Kael. Now, the reason for that is he's one of the he is actually the best start champion. He's also a poisoner, and that's gonna help you a lot to actually get to the end game with him. Uh, I would say he can be used in end game, but he pretty much gonna start getting weaker by then. You're gonna have a lot better champions by that point. So, but still one of the best champions. Second, right now we're still doing the call of arbiter, basically with the rewards, and I'm gonna show you how to get all the rewards as well. So you're gonna have a lot of freebies to at least get you to level 30, level 40, without having to spend any money, without having to grind, just playing the game. So now that you're in that point, you're gonna see on your bottom left a call of arbiter. You just need to go in there, and the moment you open, you're gonna see share trailer. You do not need to share the trailer. You just click on it. You click after that on to get the link, copy the link, and it's gonna open for you a hundred energy for free for all the 10 days, for all the 10 videos, and that's completely free for you. If you want as well, you can go and watch the videos. You only need to watch a second. Go back there and get 50K per video you watch, total of 10 videos. We're gonna help you a lot when you start your account. You also, starting on the episode two, you're gonna get some special gear. It's six stars. Not all good, but go to the bottom, get them for free, and just go ahead with that. And you're gonna have some major gear, really good speed gear, and that's completely for free. Now, the thing you gotta do next, you're gonna go to the code chasers, all right? And I'm gonna give you the codes for every single one of the episodes for you to get even more stuff for free. And it's XP brews, it's uh, multi battles, it's energy, everything. So, episode one, first answer, and the first answer is choice for episode one, arbiter for episode two, betrayal for episode three, harmony for episode four, destiny for episode five, infested for episode six, artifact for episode seven, revenge for episode eight, ambition for episode nine, and united for episode 10. So now that you claim all the rewards, uh, they all gonna be in your inbox. Now my advice, do not collect any of your potions because the more level you get, the higher uh, your limit is and they're default to the limit. What it means, you already got 100 per episode, just, just about. So right now, just leave those in there until you actually need them because by the time you're gonna need them, you're gonna be getting close to at least 100 per potion. So you're gonna utilize a lot better. All right, so next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go and get a promo code. That promo code gonna give you Dickin Armstrong, and the code is the promo code is Superpowers. Now I had some issues, I think because I put a lot of promo codes on the Call of Arbiter, so it took me a little bit to be able to get that promo code on. 
all right but yes just go in put superpowers if it doesn't work right away wait an hour and get this on and you're gonna get Deacon Armstrong what is one of the best epics in the game all right after that you're gonna go to campaign and gonna try to clear as much as you can as fast as you can while leveling your characters right now in the beginning try to add as many characters as you can so you can level them up with you a lot of them and i'm gonna try to help you guys you're gonna level them just to use them as food eventually but for right now they're gonna help you level up level up and that's all that matters all right so after clearing some of those states on campaign you're gonna get some equipment some's distant some's not so right now four stars three stars and the most in the beginning is the best for you so you're gonna change you're gonna level then as much as you can now just one thing you have to make sure is you're leveling the right equipment for the right character so the best thing is you look at skills and see what the skills need for damage so if the skills say it's based on attack you want gear that actually gonna raise your attack now when you go to gloves chest and boots you probably don't want regular attack or regular defense you, what you want is attack percentage defense percentage even though that in the beginning sometimes percentage gonna be less than if you actually put a straightforward just attack but you need to think sometimes on the long run uh, some of the substats you're looking for are gonna be speed accuracy crit damage and crit rate you know most because in the beginning it's very hard for you to get high crit damage and high crit rate also another way for you to get crit rate in the beginning of the game is to go for the gloves with crit rate as the main stat after that when you get to a certain point in the game with your level 60 characters you are probably gonna start going for crit damage instead and getting your crit rate in different ways but that's not for right now so aim at crit rate it's gonna give you a nice smackdown on your enemies and make you clear the levels much easier much faster now when you get to level 8 you're gonna unlock the tavern so your kael or whatever other champion you have gonna be pretty low level but you remember you got a lot of rewards from call of arbiter what you need to do is go to the tavern and raise the level of your character now if you have a magic affinity use magic bruise if you have force use force bruise uh and it's basically because for example if you're gonna use 20 uh bruise to level a character using with the right affinity if you use a different one you're gonna have to use almost twice so it's not twice a little less but still you don't want to be wasting your bruise better just to let them sit in there and level regularly in the most of the beginning then doing another way the other thing you need to make sure and try to save are your gems you're gonna get gems different ways um, it can be sometimes in tournaments it can be just by leveling your character it can be by completing missions now the reason why you want to save then is the moment you have 900 gems you can go to the shop and actually change into charts you change then and you can get better champions and always a chance to get an epic or a legendary champion next thing you need to do is the moment you get to level 10 is to join a clan now join the clan in the most in the low level you probably won't get the best clans because you don't have enough power there are requirements for different clans so join a clan because that's gonna open for you uh, a fight against the demon lord what give you nice rewards extra jams and even charts also also every week or so or every two weeks you have clan versus clan what gives you a lot of rewards and sometimes you may not be able to contribute as much as other members but you get all the rewards they are giving to your clan now when you get to level 12 you're gonna be able to open classic arena now you may not be into pvp as much i understand but the thing is you get your arena you actually gonna get points to be able to open special affinity, bo affinity bonuses at the great hall and trust me most of you are going to the end game that's the best thing the most if you get those points when you're in low level because you're gonna have much easier battles so you want to get affinity bonuses as fast as you can that's gonna help you a lot during the game now as a rule of thumb you should start right to left 
filling up as much as you can. Basically, accuracy is your main stat. Just raise as much as you can. Forget about the rest. When you get around mid-game, if you have as full as you can accuracy, start getting some resistance, some critical damage, defense, attack in HP. Attack's probably the last one you really want. You will have for one of your missions to at least put one level on each one of them. Just complete the mission, that's fine. But basically, that's a, one of the last things you want to actually add to. All right, so after you use all the points you have for day in arena, you probably want to go and check your missions. Now, some of them are easier than others, but they give you some really good rewards. They give you a lot of gems, they give you energy. So the best thing for you to do is check what's the mission on. If that's a dungeon mission, camping mission, start following them. At the same time, you're getting XP, you're getting the points you need, you're getting extra equipment to be able to put in your characters, in your champions, I should say. So start trying to complete as many as you can. Some of them have to do with uh, the potion kips, and that's the reason you want to check in there. So in the first week you play, they're all open. After that, you have one open a day. So you may not be able to complete those missions as fast as you can and not getting the rewards. Now, a lot of people may say do it in a different way. In my opinion, that's a great way to actually level in the game and get everything you need. The next thing you need to also take a look, not as important, but it's the challenges. Because sometimes you can complete a challenge at the same time you're completing a mission. Third thing, quests. So quests are going to be pretty easy. Uh, you want to do the daily quests in, in, in most of the beginning, the weekly and monthly. Now, concentrate the daily quests. As long as you're doing them, you're going to be able to complete the others. And it's basically because after you get five complete daily quests, like complete all the daily quests for the day five times, you actually going to be able to get a nice chart for free. We're also going to help you to level because you're going to get better champions and so on. Another thing you need to pay attention, try to check the market every time you have the red dot on because that means it was refreshed. Don't need to refresh automatically. Uh, click on, you're going to be spending gems. You don't want to do that. Now, rule of thumb, don't open anything below what is opened unless you see something that interests you. Now, I'll tell you right now, equipment, 99% of the time is going to be garbage, going to be too expensive, and you can get a lot better. Second, unless you see something like the Armitage or some, some of the champions that you really need, they're not worth buying. What you want to take a look, and I would say always buy any type of charts buying there. If you see one of the blue ones, you one of the rare ones, you just, you want to spend, if that's spend gems, to be able to open the slot, spend the gem, buy it, and you're going to be fine. If that's a green one, I would wait, basically because you're going to have other chances and you're going to get a lot of them at a certain point. So don't worry about them. Unless you're for sale already open, it's not expensive, just buy then, it's going to help you out. Now, one thing I like to do, and I feel it's the best for me, is every time you go to a potion kip, and once you finish one of your missions, uh, try to see how high you can go on them. Even if the mission tells you you just need to clear stage one, try to clear stage two, three, four, until you die, and then move out of there. It's just going to help you have an idea how far you are, how good your characters are, and everything. Now, when you get to a certain point, the most because the requirements uh, of damage are pretty low, I would say you should go to the clan bosses and try to kill the clan boss. Basically, yeah, you're not going to kill him, but you just need a certain amount of points to be able to get rewards the next day, and you have two keys. If you don't use the keys, the moment the game resets, you're not going to get extra keys from there. You're not going to get extra keys every six hours. So use your keys, go on easy. The requirement's going to be pretty low for a new character, for a, a new player. Just put your best characters, try to get at least in the first tire of rewards, and move on from there. Use the other key again, and so on. Every six hours, you get a new key. Just go in there, get some extra points. You may get charged the next day. You may get something good, something not, but at least it's going to increase your chances to level up in the game. Now, I need to say some people don't agree with me on that. Uh, some of the characters you're going to see, they're not great. 
Uh, I mean, they may work with you in the early game, but honestly, nowadays, you have a lot of things going on, a lot of tournaments, you may be able to get charts and get better characters, better champions in a very short time. So you don't want to use your books and a lot of that stuff to level a character that you're really not going to use after the first week or so. So one thing I do if I see any of those characters, I just completely use them as food to be able to get my character into a higher rank and that helps me clear stage much easier. So Kyle for example, I use a couple that I used to save them but honestly what they bring to the table is not enough. So I'll use those to actually feed Kyle and get him to rank 4. Now my max level is going to be 40 and he can do a lot more damage, uh, he can survive a lot longer, and so on. So take that with a grain of salt, it's up to you if you do that or not, but I don't feel it's bad because you gotta remember, you're gonna be spending silvering equipment, leveling equipment for characters that sometimes you're gonna replace them really early, uh, when you can just survive for a little bit, push, and actually come out on top in the end. All right, guys, so that's pretty much what you want to be doing on day one. And basically, after that, just do as many campaigns as you can. When you get to a certain point, you're dying, you're not actually getting up there. Just go to the dungeons, try to get new equipment, check what equipment's available. Life still great. Dragon is a good one for you guys farm in the beginning. Now, the one of the best ones really, uh, it's good to be it would be the fire knight but unless you have champions that actually have multiple hits on their uh as their abilities you probably don't want to confront him you may be able in the beginning to get like to the first few levels but the equipment gonna be just a couple of stars two three star stops and you really don't want to invest money on that you want to start investing on four even from the beginning so there you go and thank you guys very much i hope that helped and i'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for a new video of day two of Raid Shadow Legends.